What's going on guys, Vastapar here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, now, as you may have noticed, it's been almost nine months since I last uploaded my video. You might be wondering, uh, why is it so dark? You look like you're in a basement. Uh, haha, we don't have basements in Florida because of the soft ground, but I'm in my dark car in a parking lot of Markham Woods and it's 6.30 at night at 6.30 and it's complete and utter darkness outside already. Um, and I brought my mountain bike, so I'm gonna go bike the Markham Woods Trail. Uh, in fact, this is gonna be my first time mountain biking at night. I, I've never been here in the dark. In fact, I've never been on any trail in complete darkness. Um, and looking at the trail right now, it is very creepy and I would say scary even because there, there's no lights in there. This is, you know, a part of a state park and the, the trail goes through part of the state park and it's just, you know, completely dark. There's like, there's no uh, lighting in there. Um, I, I did bring, um, of course, I did bring a couple of lights. Now these are the Vaunt Breeze lights that uh, Vaughn sent me. Um, you might have seen a recent video where I did a review. However, they're not that bright. They're only about 200, 250 lumens. Uh, I brought one to put on my handlebars on my bike and I'm hoping to put another one on my helmet, but I don't know how I'm gonna mount it yet. So I'm gonna try it out. So hoping that that, that about 400 lumens I got coming from two lights. Hopefully that's gonna be enough to light the trail. I have no idea how it's gonna look riding the bike. I have no idea how it's gonna look on this GoPro. I did set up the GoPro as optimally as I could, you know, based on some videos I saw to like optimize the low lighting. So hopefully, you know, this isn't too like off-putting and dark and cringy to watch. So without further ado, I know that was a long intro, but let's go get my bike, get my gear on and get rolling. There we go. Under. There we go. Oh, I don't think I was even on the brightest setting. So as I was saying, I, I, I hope this video, like right now, I think with the GoPro running, I think this is gonna be a lot better because I've got two lights. I have the light on my helmet on. And I also have my bar light on, my bar light is illuminating direct ahead of me and then my helmet light is kind of providing additional lighting as you can see my my handlebars here all right Whew. and it's also giving me directional i can turn my head into turns and see where i'm going so i don't have any dead spots oh Wow, the moon is so beautiful. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's almost nearly full moon. Hopefully there's no werewolves out and about. <laughs> All right. Oh, I love this. This is so much fun. It's just me, you know, it's just like, it's just like you and nature, you know, you're just like out here in the woods by yourself at night. You and your bike, a couple of lights, maybe some bears and deer in the distance. Oh, nice, there's some good mushrooms right there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, nice. It's not fully pitch, pitch black. Like if I was gonna turn my lights off right now, you know, I could kind of see the sky and it's like dark blue and you can see the moon. But still, you know, for the, for your eyes, you know, if I, if I had to adjust my eyes right now, I wouldn't be able to see anything without lights. Now I heard some stories which are kind of crazy. I was just like on Facebook in the Central Florida Mountain Bikers group and some guy posted a picture like he was biking, I think he said Paisley Woods or somebody said it's Paisley Woods. Oh, this is a spot that gets me. So anyways, he was biking across the trail. Check this out, it's crazy. Somebody put a, a piece of barbed wire or strung barbed wire between two trees 
on a downhill section. So this guy hit his neck going downhill on a piece of barbed wire. He got knocked off his bike. Fortunately, he, you know, he didn't get killed or anything, but he got injured really bad. I saw pictures. His neck was all torn up. But what the hell, man? Can you imagine that? What kind of people do this? That's, that was literally placed there as a booby trap, you know, at neck level. It wasn't even low, like not at the height of your bike, which would, you know, crash you. But this was deliberately placed, you know, at somebody's neck level, essentially on a bike. That they were going to hit it with their head or neck or even, you know, body. There's some really messed up people out there. So, you know, always be careful, kind of keep an eye out where you're going. Oh, oh, look at this. This section is rough. Whoa. Wow. Now this is definitely an adventure. You know, this definitely beats sitting on a couch watching Netflix, scrolling on my phone, doing all this nonsense that I usually do after work. Oh, this is exciting. You know, just out in the woods. I'm jump. I'm literally kind of skittish right now because I heard some noises behind me, like something, something big moving in the, in the woods, like something running. <laughs> they gave me goosebumps. You never know. You know, people have this natural fear of the dark. Like, what is it? it could be anything. When it's day, you could at least see. You know, it's a deer or a bear or whatever. But when it's dark. You know, it's the fear of the unknown. Oh, there's a tough part. You know, your imagination just goes wild. Could be anything. Whew. Now, now this section here of Mitched Up that I'm on, this is a new section of the trail, or relatively new. They built this relatively recently. They rerouted this trail. So it's Still a bit uneven and well obviously you don't want it's a mountain bike trail so it's not gonna be even but it's a little bit rougher than the rest of your trail and there's a section here it's literally like a ditch it just dips and it's pretty rough my main fear right now is spiders like I don't want to run it with my face into a spider web <laughs> that would not be fun, right? Oh. Now this is not for the faint of heart, you know, if you're skittish, you're afraid of the dark, afraid of shadows, <laughs> don't go in the woods by yourself at night. You know, you know, I'm not, I, I consider myself more in the more adventurous side of things and even I'm getting some heebie-jeebies right now oh yeah there's this nice little hip right there oh there's a jump let's see if I can do <laughs> oh yeah my first nighttime jump I don't know if I even got air Felt like I got some air. <sighs> yeah. Let's do it. Whoa. Oh, there's some serious roots that almost got me. Boy. That almost got me, I gotta say. I'm fully decked out. I got my Demon uh, D30 knee pads. I got my Demon D30 elbow pads, which I just got. This is actually my first ride with them. Um, actually, I actually really like them. They're very, they don't look like they're light or breathable. Whoa. Wow, okay. But they're actually very, you know, light. I'm not, I'm barely noticing they're on, you know. So if you're looking for some good elbow pads, I think this is a new section. What the heck? Yeah, if you're looking for some good uh, protection for your elbows and knees, I recommend Demons. I'm gonna link them in the video description. It's gonna be affiliate link, so if you guys buy something, 
helps me a bit. A few extra pennies for my bike parts. Whoa! Okay, yeah, this section right here is pretty tricky. It's got a lot of, of these uh, palm roots. Oh, here's the ditch. Here we go. Whoa! Here we go. Yeah! All right. It's a bit wet here. I feel like it almost feels like it rained here. And it didn't where I started, which is strange. I'm in the same place. Okay, here we have this utility road here. And then we continue to match up. And I think this part right here goes to Boneyard. <laughs> Fun name. I think this trail is marked like black on this one, but it's really not black. It's really like relative to the rest of the trail, which is, you know, it's blue. Got some more like twists and turns and bumps on it. Yeah. Whew. I feel like for nighttime, I'm actually keeping pretty good speed. Like I, I was expecting to go a bit slower, but as I started going, I kind of picked up some confidence and I kind of got into the groove of things. Here's a nice little, whoa, little downhill section here. And if you don't know, go left, easy to crash here. I've fallen here once, I'm not doing that again. All right. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> I had a second head of lawn moment there. So yeah, this is fun. I'm glad, you know, I'm excited to gonna come home. I'm gonna edit this video, get my channel going again. Yeah, I just wanna make more videos. It's just like, this is what I wanna do, you know. Share my adventures with you guys. You know, motivate people to go out and have fun outdoors. Just kinda get your bike. It doesn't even matter if you have a good bike or not. You know, just take your bike and go on a ride on a trail. Alright, so here, I think I'm going to go this way. This takes me back to the trailhead. Oh, big log here. But yeah, you know, this is what my channel is about. You know, just having fun outdoors. Just having, having a good time doing what I like. Sharing my adventures with my channel, with my people. Hopefully motivating some guys to, guys and girls to come out and to be active. You know, you can always sit at home and, you know, watch binge network shows and all this nonsense, but you don't really get much out of this. You know, if you go out and bike, you know, you're working out, being close to nature, you know, this is just good for you. And this is good for your health, good for your mental well-being, especially now that like everybody's working from home. You just sit at home all day and it, it just gets like, I swear, it just gets like Groundhog Day. You're living the same day over and over, not going anywhere, not doing anything, just waking up to your computer, have lunch. Netflix, go to bed, wake up, computer, lunch, go to bed, like, oh, here's a dip. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice little downhill section. Yeah, man, you don't want to be living Groundhog Day. This is a movie. It's not meant to be your life. Go out there and do cool stuff. Have an adventure, you know? Get out of your comfort zone you know do something that scares you maybe not crazy dangerous but you know it's just uh something you've been thinking about but you've been putting off for whatever reason and just go do it okay that's your homework let me know in the comments what you want to do what's your one thing that you're sitting thinking about doing and you want to go and do it and just, just don't think about it, just go do it. 
Okay. This was my thing, I think, biking at night. I was like, ah, I wanna go bike at night. This is, uh, it's not as scary as I thought. It's definitely challenging. This is a different level of, you know, mountain biking. This is like a whole different experience. Oh, I feel like I just hit a spider web with my head. This is not pleasant. Okay, trailhead. All right, I know where I'm at now. I'm going, I'm back on the Lacosi loop and I'm going back into, towards the parking lot, I think. Haha, <laughs> we almost lost the trail there. And you know what, like all this talking, I'm doing a lot of talking when I'm biking. This is as much for you guys as it is for me because when it's quiet and you're biking, and you don't say anything, it gets a little bit creepy. Like you hear like all these rustling noises. You're like, what is that? So if I talk, I don't hear none of those noises and I'm not as scared. <laughs> so this is kind of a, psych a little psychological trick to help you overcome your fear of the dark is just talk to yourself or talk to your video. Whew. Yeah. Whoa. Tricky, tricky. Tricky little sex segment. Oh, I just hit my head on a branch, which is why you want to have a helmet. Whoa. Okay, so here, see, I, could, I went left. When I started, I'm going back straight this way. This is the trail. Oh, the trailhead. And I can kind of make out some lights from the road in the distance. So I know I'm going in the right direction. As I was leaving to bike right now from the parking lot, I saw like a whole train of people biking. There's like maybe like 10 people doing a group trail ride. So. You know, if you're just getting started and you're not as adventurous as I am, uh, maybe just find a group first and then do a group night ride. Because most of the time, you know, you're not gonna be leading it. You could be like kind of in the back or in the middle. You'll be following someone that knows the trail better. Plus, you know, if you fall or something happens, you'll have some people around you to help you up, help you out. Otherwise, you're kind of on your own, <laughs> which is not for everyone. Yeah. This is the way as a Mandalorian Credo goes. Ah. Okay. I think I'm gonna do another lap. I'm not gonna do another lap, but I'm gonna do another segment of the trail. I actually have to, oh, I'm curious. I wanna check, see how the video is turning out. Check my GoPro. Maybe this looks like garbage. Maybe it's not even useful. <laughs> oh wow, it looks like everybody's left. I think I'm the only car in the parking lot now. Okay, it's a bit spooky. Literally, I'm the only car right now. All right, so I'm back into the trailhead. Let's see. This is uh, right here. <sighs> okay, uh, I just got back to my car. Um, I didn't go as far as I imagined I would go um, and the main reason for that is that kind of like by the end you know I got back towards the parking lot and I looked at the parking lot and it was just empty it was just my car and nobody else um, and the loop that I did right now I have never seen bears on this loop so I kind of did it knowing that you know I'm probably not gonna encounter bears but the loop that was remaining on the left side the Lakosi loop that's the loop I saw bears on one time, close to dusk, and there was like two bears. It was, you know, uh, I think a female bear and her cub I saw, and that was, you know, almost during daylight, you know, towards dusk, but it was still light out. So I kind of got freaked out towards the end a little bit. I'm like, I don't know if I want to go there right now because there could be a bear sitting on the trail and I spook them and then, you know, they might attack me or something. So I, I just kind of like decided to, to cut this whole uh, ride a bit short. Um, but still this was really fun uh, a few things I kind of learned on this trip is 
it really, really helps to have a light on your helmet. So I had a light on my bars at first when I started biking. I'm gonna cut part of that video off because I, I looked at the footage and it was too dark. You know, it's not usable. It's just like, you see a spotlight in front, but as a video playback, it's not usable at all. And I turned on the light on my helmet also, and that gave me like extra illumination for the video. First of all, you can kind of see my bars but also like when I'm going, I can turn my head in the direction that I'm turning and I can see that part of the trail. Whereas if I just have a light on my bars, you know, whatever is illuminated is, is only what's directly in front of the bars. Where, you know, and, and if I'm turning it sharply, I'm basically going blind a lot of times. So it definitely helps to have uh, dual lighting, light on your bars, light on your head, or just have like a really good light on your head that illuminates the whole trail, that's perfect. I think after this, I'm gonna look into some uh, higher lumens lighting, maybe like up to like a thousand lumens, because there was parts of the trail where I felt like the lighting was lacking a little bit. Uh, but overall, this was really fun. There was like parts of the trail where I was biking and I kind of like lost sense of direction. Like it was just like, trees and darkness and trail and I, I didn't really know where I was until I would get to a certain landmark or a turn on the trail that I was familiar with and I was like oh okay I know where I'm at so definitely definitely big tip for you you know if you're going biking at night and this is kind of your first time or you're going by yourself go on a trail that you're familiar with like really familiar that you could you know you, you don't get lost on during the day at all and you always know your kind of like general location that's a big tip for me um, and uh, yeah also don't go by yourself or let people know where you're going so um, that's it for me I'm gonna kind of go home now and uh, edit this video and upload and I hope you guys enjoy this today um, you know if you did stay tuned I, I definitely want to make more videos like this and kind of improve the quality of the video maybe by getting some better lighting and you know make this kind of night ride kind of like a regular thing because I think this is really a nice change of pace for like mountain biking not just you know you're doing the same trail but when you do it at night it's a different trail now it's just a whole different adventure so yeah if you like this video please leave a like subscribe to my channel i really appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you guys next time